Hi guys, uh, today we're looking at the C-sharp 7 chord. So it's just the dominant 7 chord. Uh, so if you look at it, C-sharp, and then we're going to call it like this, E-sharp. So E-sharp, sharp just means up a half step, so E-sharp is going to be the same key as F naturally. But it's called E-sharp, then we have G-sharp, and then that B right there. Boom. Da -da -da -da. So the, how that functions is if we're in the key of F sharp, okay, one, two, three, four, five, go up five steps, it is, it go, it's like, it, it's the five, fifth degree of the scale, so we call it like a five, seven chord, and that's our dominant seven. So it always resolves, well, often it resolves to that one chord. So like a C sharp seven, for instance, will resolve to, an F sharp major chord, which is F sharp, A sharp, C sharp, where I'm playing it up here. So, C sharp major seven, or C sharp seven, which is C sharp, B sharp, G sharp, and B goes to that uh, F sharp major chord right there. So, let me show you a different way to play it. What I like to do is rearrange these sometimes. So, we'll have G sharp, B, C sharp, and E sharp. We're going to play it down here, and then we're going to go from here to there, the F sharp major chord. So C sharp, I have G sharp, B, C sharp, and E sharp, and we're going to resolve it to the F sharp major. So how that works in practice, so it's F sharp, C sharp, C natural, C sharp, D, C sharp. Then take our C sharp seven, F sharp. There you have it. All right, guys, great job today. Uh, thanks for checking us out. Uh, remember uh, also to send your requests to requests at mahalo.com. Um, and also check us out on Facebook and uh, look for our new and exciting uh, upcoming videos we have going on. So um, look forward to seeing you next time.